thanks to you, we get to see what really happens when you fall off the islands. Hey, you can't pin this on me! This is your fault! Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Trusting the blaze rods, hiding the Eversource. I didn't do any of that! Hmm, I can't decide whether I want our death to be painless for my sake or excruciating for yours. Impossible. That's impossible. Jesse? There. Can we get to it in time? It's going to be close. You're down here, too? Lucas! You made it! Oh, yeah. Only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Mm. Got me pretty good. I'm just so glad you're okay. When Aiden pitched you over the side, that was awful. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan either. <laughs> ah. That was good of you to try and save the Founder. Uh, speaking of whom, is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Let me ask. Founder! Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. Are you, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I, I can't believe it. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. I just don't understand. Why did you never even look? Send someone down. Hey, take it easy. She's having a rough enough day as it is. No, no. That's okay. I, I was too cautious. I didn't want to create false hope. And I was so certain that the only thing down here was death. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> Seeing all this after you've been crammed on a tiny island, that would be overwhelming for anybody. First things first, we're gonna go back up there and kick Aiden's butt. Sounds like the start of a winning plan to me. Getting back up. My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. Okay. What's going on up there? Oh, that's not a good sign. Aiden's made some big mistakes. He's probably in completely over his head by now. I can't believe Aiden could be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. We did kind of start this mess. Of course, I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Issa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let me see what we've got to work with. Hmm. That'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Well, would someone care to explain it to me, please? Get ready to build the tallest thing you ever built. What? We're going to build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. OK. 
Okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? What? What is it? Just... Wow, what are the odds? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, ready? Yes, I, I think so. I, uh... I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. Aiden got me pretty good. Just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. What? But it's dangerous alone. Monsters, nightfall. I'll get some food, put together a shelter if it gets dark. It's not my first rodeo. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. Ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save me, I mean. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Aiden. Come on. We need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. On your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Quick version? You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? No. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. See you on the other side. <laughs> Taking over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. 
No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Can't stop what you can't see. <clears throat> and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the Founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut up! Now you listen here! I... Aiden, you lost! I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the Founder with you? I heard... <laughs> what the... Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! You thought you could just kick me off the edge? Unfortunately for you, Aiden, I'm pretty tough to kill. Just... die already! <laughs> Should've left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, this isn't about who wins and who loses. It's about what's right. And that is why you're gonna lose.
Where's that punk Aiden? We heard the fighting. He tried to fight me. He did it again. You retrieved the Eversource. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, stay together! Jesse, there you are! Jesse, the situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. The longer we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. We need to get out of here. The waterfalls. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. But there's nothing but monsters up here. You all just need to trust me, okay? Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? Jesse has done nothing but help us so far. I will show you just how much I believe in Jesse's word. you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. Just take it slow, okay? You guys have been isolated for so long, you don't want to get overwhelmed by all this real world. <sighs> I wonder what happened to Aiden. Hey, guards. Check out what washed up right next to me. Uh... Freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere! Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. <laughs> what goes around comes around. Am I right, guys? Attention! Attention! Huh? Hello, hello everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free! Build whatever we please! Oh, wow. Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Just relax a minute, okay? Relax? Relax? My people are in more danger than they ever have been, and you want me to relax? No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan. But you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things. But you got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. 
We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. Just try and play nice with the founder, okay? I know you don't always get along, but her heart's in the right place. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for nightfall, too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Oh, that's right. In the middle of all the fighting and everything, I almost forgot. When I was on the ground with the founder before, I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Cause I could have sworn I said something. No! You didn't! Huh. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on! Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. It looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Are you going to set her free? I tried to, actually, but she kept coming back. We've spent so long together, I suppose we sort of need each other now. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaws. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? Oh, I just saw those pigs and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you. One portal back home. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Wait till Axel and Olivia hear where we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs>